quiet, please. Welcome to the second annual Twippy Awards. A celebration of pinball excellence. Introducing your hosts for the show, Greg Bone and Zachary Many. Wow. Holy moly. Hey, Bone. What is that? Welcome to the second annual Twippy Pinball Awards. How's everybody doing tonight? That is the kind of crowd I love. Absolutely, man. That, that's the people, they, they yell for me like that all the time, not you, but. The, the response itself was better than a lot of seminars I've seen already, right? That's right. Greg, what are we doing? What are we doing here? We're here to celebrate pinball and everything pinball. <laughs> We've got. All right, tonight we're going we're gonna to celebrate everything pinball, like Greg was saying. Uh, we've got 22 different pinball categories. What we're going to do is we're going to show you guys a montage in each of those 22 categories and to show you those top three vote-getters that we received in the Twippy Awards. And then, subsequently, you guys are going to find out what was the best or the favorite of 2018 in pinball. How does that sound, everybody? I love these people. I do. They're nice. Can you guys hear me? It's because they're all drunk. Well, there is a cash bar back there. <laughs> There's cash. Well, you guys ready to get this thing started? All right. First, before we begin, we've got to do a, a couple quick thank yous, right? This is the boring part. Bear with me. All right. We are going to thank Jeff Patterson. Jeff, poke your head out, buddy. Jeff is the editor and owner of This Week in Pinball. This guy's passion for pinball, you, everybody, it's unbelievable. He does this day in and day out, um, and we couldn't thank him more for putting on this show. So thank you, Jeff Patterson. <laughs> Next, we'd like to thank the Twippy committee members. Now, this is, we did something different this year. Last year, everybody said, okay, you guys got a lot of votes, but... How do we know these things are legit, right? So, uh, Jeff constructed a Twippy committee team. Now, this team was responsible for a lot of things. Uh, the, their time, expertise, we want to thank them for that. To really make the Twippy Awards reliable, responsible, and represent all aspects of the industry that each and every one of you love like we do. Agreed. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, Marco Specialties and Flippin' Out Pinball. For priv oh, thanks. Uh, they're, they're providing a lot of support for our vision. We just, we love those guys, so thank you. And also to Ed Vanderveen and the TPF team for providing the platform for this ceremony this evening. <laughs> so, uh, look. There's a whole list of people we could thank. If you guys helped us, we've got a lot of crew back here. From the bottom of our hearts, truly, truly, truly thank you guys. And hell, for you guys sitting in these seats, thank you so much for supporting Greg and I and this week in pinball. And, and again, that's what brings us here tonight, is that this the Twippies are a celebration of everything pinball. Yeah. There, there are no losers tonight. Everyone in this room, whether you have designed a game, did art on a game, coded a game, or just simply go to an expo or a convention, you literally are what makes pinball happen and what keeps pinball alive. And for that, we thank every damn one of you. Woo. Okay. All right, I'm good with that, actually. I can't top that. You guys, let's have some fun. Let your hair down. Grab a drink from the back. That's my number one goal. And, and enjoy the show. Let's first, let's take a look at all of the pinball machines that are going to be nominated this evening. Our 
Alice Cooper's Nightmare Castle by Spooky Pinball. The Beatles by Kapow Pinball and Stern Pinball. Cosmic Kart Racing by Multimorphic. Deadpool by Stern Pinball. Houdini by American Pinball. Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball. Monster Bash Remake by Chicago Gaming Company. Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. Mafia by Team Pinball. Primus by Stern Pinball. Supreme by Stern Pinball. Thunderbirds by Home Pin. Man, listen to those Aussies wow. out there representing that Thunderbirds. Okay, all right. Everybody needs to grab a drink except that guy back there. <laughs> Greg. Hey, hey, wait, I got that. I love all of you two. I really do. Especially whoever's over in here. We can't see. We can't see shit. We see nothing. How many machines were made this year? Pinball is healthy and pinball is alive. Let's get into the nominees, right? Okay. Our first, our first individual who's gonna present for us this evening, he's no stranger to best music and sound effects. You know why, Greg? Well, because he's awesome and he created one of the best Ooh. tracks mm. in pinball history. Plus, he won the damn Twippy last year for this. Everybody put their arms and hands together for Scott Denisi! <laughs> Awesome. I love you too back there. I love you. I love all you guys. Thank you so much guys. Thank you. All right, so the nominees for something near and dear to my heart, best music and sound effects are... Yeah. Best music and sound effects. The Beatles by Kapow Pinball and Stern Pinball. Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball. Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. You guys, here's the moment of truth. I have not peeked in the envelope, I promise. Let's see what we got. And the winner for best music and sound effects goes to Iron Maiden. <laughs> Anyone here from Stern Pinball? Uh oh, I see somebody coming down the aisle here. Is that, Jer is that Jerry Thompson? Yeah! Come on around, Jerry. Come on around. Thank you. Congratulations, Jerry. Say something? Wow, this is a surprise. Um, Keith was a great collaborator and designer to work with and uh, and I love working for Stern and uh, we've, we've done some cool stuff this year can't wait for you to hear what we have coming this year and thank you very much for this yeah. isn't this fun it's kind of exciting yeah did it's... you think Iron Maiden was gonna win it did rock it did rock he literally took a minute 
Well, you guys know my feeling about the, the hard rock, right? More of a Beatles guy myself. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so our next presenters. If, <laughs> this is funny. So if, if we did like a homebrew toppers, best of homebrew toppers, these guys would actually win it. You know who I'm talking about? I think I know who you're Instead, talking Instead, we're presenting tonight favorite homebrew pinball machine, and that's going to be done by Mrs. and Dr. Penn. Look at all these beautiful pinheads, Dr. Penn. I'm not going to lie, I'm geeking out right now. I feel like everyone in this room deserves a Twippy. It's funny you mention that. I stayed up last night and I came up with a little something, a trophy for everyone. I like to call it a wampy. <laughs> and here's yours. Oh, thanks, babe. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, I, I just have to say that uh, the really the best crafters out there are the ones that make their own pinball machines at home. <laughs> That's called homebrew, Dr. Penn. And here are the nominees for best homebrew game. Favorite homebrew pinball machine. Airplane by Homebrew Pinball. Kill Bill by Pinnovating. Nightmare Before Christmas by Mark in City. The suspense is killing me. The winner is The Nightmare, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Body. Mark just wants to say thank you to the community. Have a nice night. All right. All right. And I have to tell you guys. Yeah, what are you going to do? Our next presenter is someone very special. Me? No, not you. If you heard the crowd. Come on, Greg. <laughs> I love Greg Boone. Yeah. So I... Love you guys. So I grew up watching this next presenter. He is a legend yeah. and an icon. Absolutely. He has one of the best voices in Hollywood and undeniably mm. the best voice in pinball. Presenting for best call outs, yeah. please welcome John Reese Davis. Put your hands up. You're all very silly. Very good. So I've been told to say something along these lines. Jackpot one! Jackpot two! Well, I'm, I, I'm, my name is Reese Davis. I'm delighted to be here. I did not expect to meet the extraordinary quality and intelligence of the people that I've met this weekend. You're a remarkable, oddball community, but <laughs> dear me, are you smart. Oh, I'm impressed. Anyway, now apparently my function is to give you the nominees for the best call-outs, and they are... Best call outs. Deadpool by Stern Pinball. It's me, Deadpool, the Vampire Slayer. That was so good, it gave me the tingles. Gonna shine some love on these suckers. You're both pain to the neck. What? It's not funny. This is a tough crowd. 
Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball. On this battlefield, no one wins. Well, aren't you just full of surprises? Your rabid corpse is no match against me! Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. Shoot the left spinner. And what makes you think you're worthy to crew the Black Pearl? Mutiny most foul. Extra pearl! <laughs> And the winner is... Small trumpet roll or something like that while I... <laughs> the winner is... Deadpool! <laughs> I was sound designer on the game, and boy, what a fun game with George Gomez, Tanya Kleiss, and uh, having Nolan North as Deadpool was, was icing on the cake, and Tim Kitzrow and all the other great people in there, and I will share this with them, and I accept this for them. Thank you very much. Yeah. Zach, we got two surprises there. Okay, what's that? We got a Hollywood icon, oh. and I don't know if I was expecting Deadpool to win. I love it. You know, I wasn't either. I thought maybe somebody else would pull that out, but how deserved is Deadpool? Very much so. Now, how good is how good is he? He was great. We need him in another pinball machine. Actually, kind of gave me goosebumps. I know, right? Okay, our next presenter. Well, first off, no one wants to hear about competitive pinball, right? Oh, I knew, see, that's why they love me. Look, look, uh, but this next presenter does want to talk about competitive pinball because she's presenting for favorite pinball tournament. Uh, I'm very proud of her. She is an ambassador to all of us in the pinball industry for introducing more and more diversity into pinball. Put your hands together for Crystal Gimnich. Thank you. Your nominees for Best Pinball Tournament are... Favorite Pinball Tournament or Competition. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, broke it off the dog. How did he survive? Penny. How did he survive? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your winner is Pinberg. Is there anyone to here to uh, accept the Pinberg Award? Oh, I've got a walker. He's... <laughs> that guy's just getting a beer. Okay, we will accept this on the behalf of Pinberg. Thank you, guys. We won one. Okay, Greg, what do, where, is he, where are you going? All right, let's see what we got next here. Mirror Ranch. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. So this guy... I told him to be prepared. This guy is a... We're, we're going to talk about toys and gimmicks. That's probably the most important thing to me. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because it's toys and gimmicks. It's a large... This guy that's going to present is a professional toy collector. So I find it fitting, right? He is also a prolific pinball artist. One of our favorites. Everybody, for best toys and gimmicks, welcome Christopher Franchi.
How you guys doing? You having a good time? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Isn't this effing great? Night O pinball. Uh, you guys listen to podcasts? Are there any pinball podcasters out here? Right here. Could you give me some tips on how to present an award? I am Boo. here to announce the award for best toys and gimmicks. I am here to announce the award for best toys and gimmicks. Something I can relate to, something I asked for. So this is about everything cool, the world under glass. And the nominees are... Best toys and gimmicks. Deadpool by Stern Pinball. Houdini by American Pinball. Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. And the winner is... Pirates of the Caribbean! Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. It was, a, it was a lot of fun putting all that stuff into the game, and I threw everything in I could. So, thanks a lot. Breathe. It's a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. I think he just needs to remember what he's supposed to say up here. I love pinball mods. I do, but I'm a little too tight to. I wanted them. to leave you hanging there just to see what you would do. Because you know how I am. We actually get to present the best pinball mod of 2018. Who likes pinball mods in their pinball machine? I like the love. Yeah, I like that. I can honestly say, uh, the three that we're presenting, I love every one of them. I love them all on your machines. Let's, ta <laughs> Let's take a look at the top three nominees for best pinball mod. Favorite pinball mod of 2018. Color DMD. Flying Monkey Mod for Jersey Jacks, The Wizard of Oz. Pin Stadium Lights. Okay. All right. We get to open it. You want to open this or you want me to? You open it. I've got my hands full. Come on, man. On our show, I always have my hands full. All right. No, I don't like that. <laughs> and the Twippy goes to... No surprise. Penn Stadium Lights. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Mr. Penn Stadium himself. Come on down, Scott. I can't see him. I know. I need a, I need a Penn Stadium belt. Right yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Is this one of your new products? Maybe. Go, go ahead, man. Down. Well, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, it's, you know, one of these products I made in my basement for myself a couple years ago and never had any tent to sell it. 
you guys all spoke up and liked the product, so I thank you very much for the support, and it's just been overwhelming. Thank you so much. Okay, where are we at now? We got that, we did that one, so. like that one. Okay. You feel good? I'm terrified. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm terrified. This man talks These people are welcoming, though. I like it. Uh, so, oh, thank you. I love this. What, you guys over thing. here, I don't know what's going on. You've got to step it up over here. This crowd is killing it. There we go. Yeah, come on. The alcohol is kicking in now, isn't it? This side's hit the bar. This side has it. <laughs> so our, our next presenter is a theme unto himself. That's true. Presenting for best theme in pinball, please welcome the dirty, the dangerous Jack Danger. Jackie D. What's going on, Internet? How is everyone doing tonight? Are you good? I've had a lot of moonshine, so I'm gonna try to read this the best that I can. But uh, I'm here to present the best theme. Uh, some might consider this to be the best category, because I'm presenting it. Right. Yes, I, I agree. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the, we get it, we get it, I love you. Okay, internet, the uh, best theme of 2018 is <laughs> Best theme Deadpool by Stern Pinball Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball All right, folks, here we go. Obviously, I dressed up for the occasion. I look amazing in my busted frickin' denim jacket. All right, so the best theme of 2018 is Deadpool. First, I'd like to thank Jack Danger for making me look like I dressed up. Um, <laughs> <all right. clears throat> On behalf of the Deadpool team, of which I'm a proud member, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that voted for the game, and thank you all for your continued support of what we do and allowing us to do what we do every day. So thank you very much. Hey, congratulations, Deadpool. They're bringing them in. I think so. I'm actually surprised. Oh, I'm not surprised. I actually just bought one. Any, you did. Anybody else in here own a stern Deadpool? There they are. Look at them. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys. We're rocking and rolling through this. We're making it pretty good. Okay. Now, everybody has their favorite place to play pinball, right? Location pinball. Who here plays some location pinball? Everybody. Personal shout out to Zanzibar, Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> there's, there's a couple. There's a couple. Yeah. So our, our presenter for best pinball location actually plays on the Black Pearl Yard. Please, everybody, welcome Eric Minier. Hey, everyone. So location pinball is something near and dear to my heart. Um, I grew up as an operator. I was routing games. Um, my dad started Kingpin Games when I was three years old, and I never had a babysitter. So I was always with him and bringing location pinball to people. So anyone who owns and routes games, thank you. You, you are keeping this hobby alive. You are helping it grow. Um, just so all of us nerds can have pinball machines in our basement, you bring more people in, you bring new people in. So. 
The nominees for favorite pinball location are... Favorite pinball location... Abari Game Bar Logan Arcade Title Town Pinball And the Twippy goes to Logan Arcade. <laughs> Crystal, come on. There she is. Yeah, that's right. And accepting is one of the most fantastic Texan pinball. Wow, oh my gosh. Thank you so much to everybody who voted. Um, it's Logan is just one of my favorite places in the entire world. It's where I learned how to work on pinball. Um, uh, on behalf of Jim Zespi, the owner, I want to thank our techs, our bartenders, our door guys, everybody who works, and everybody who voted again. Thanks so much, and play more pinball. Okay. That was pretty nice. I do like Logan, though. I do like Logan. I love that place. I visited about every time I go to Chicago. Okay. Do you? He's gonna Thanks. lie to Thanks. you. He's gonna lie. Yes, I do, Greg. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's hard to deal with this guy sometimes. Okay, so our next presenter has some of the most beautiful pinball machines in all of the world, in almost every convention, in every expo around the world, presenting for best pinball convention. Please welcome the one and only Jersey Jack. Yep. Yeah. Wow. I, I wish I could see you people. I know you look beautiful. I was in the audience. You know, years ago, um, there were maybe two or three pinball conventions in a whole year that were really good. And now there's two or three on a weekend, maybe more. And I'm really blessed to go around the world and attend all these. So it's really cool. This is one of my favorites. Um, I didn't vote, but let's see the favorite pinball convention nominees. Favorite Pinball Convention Chicago Pinball Expo Replay FX Texas Pinball Festival Is it my turn again? Okay, well, this envelope was given to me by the CPA firm of Dewey Cheatham and Howe. We're going to find out. Oh, and the winner is... Texas Pinball Festival! Oh! The future mayor, Ed Van Deveen. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I really have to thank all the exhibitors. Well, first I'm going to say that it, whatever the pinball show you go to, you need to support your pinball show. But we're just very blessed that we have a very large uh, collection here in Dallas-Fort Worth and, and the surrounding areas in North Texas. And uh, we really thank everybody, everybody's support. We work really hard uh, to my wife, Kim, Paul McKinney, and... Uh, Darren Kammer and all of our uh, volunteers that helped put the show together, we appreciate it. You know, when they, when they announced this, uh, I'm going to talk forever. So when they announced this category, I thought to myself, okay, well, this is going to look good. So if Texas Pinball F Festival wins, everyone's going to say, okay, well, clearly, because they're having the, the Twippy Awards here. And if we didn't win, I was going to think, okay, well, this shit's rigged. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Wow. 
wow, Zach, the only thing <laughs> that would have taken me more by surprise than Jack taking his clothes off on oh. stage would, would be you having more than five fans. Come on, there's got to be five people out there that appreciate old Zach, right? Is there any Zach fan? See? They love me. That was so mute. That was terrible. The, that was, see, you do bad stuff and they, ooh, they cheer. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do best light show, okay? Everybody loves a good old light show and pinball, right? I do. Speaking of light shows, these, uh, these, things, are, these things are bad. These things are killing me. I'm just glad we don't have to picture everybody naked. Oh, it's like there's little blotches now. Okay, presenting for best light show. Ooh, one of my favorite podcasts. It's Ken Cromwell and Bill Webb. What's going on, Pinball Land? I am Ken Cromwell. And I am Bill Webb. And uh, we are very honored to present the award for the best light show. The thing I like most about this award is that all these machines are special when lit. The nominees for best light show are... Best light show. Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball. Monster Bash Remake by Chicago Gaming Company. Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. True. We've got a big Chicago contingency over here, I, I hear. Yeah. And the winner is Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Uh, great job, Keith Johnson, Joe Katz, JT Harkey. They won this. Pirates is bringing it home too. Congratulations, man. I, I saw that uh, other Twippy in Eric's pocket. Uh, that one goes in the other pocket. If he wins a third one, oh, where's it gonna go? <laughs> I, I don't know. Sharp, it is sharp. So, for, oh, do you want, what, do you want this one? No, you can. Oh, you just want me to do it? Yeah, you can okay. do it. So, our next presenter is actually over in the other room killing yeah. it in the tournament. So, he can't be here, Mr. Stephen Bowden yeah, uh, yeah. from Fun With Bonus. He's in the finals. Yes. <laughs> so, we're here to show the nominees for Best Pinball Publication. Nice. Favorite pinball publication. Drop target omnibus. Pinball adventures with Todd Tucky. Pinball Magazine number five. Ooh, Who's gonna win it, Greg? Go, it's you kind can of open it. Oh, you already opened it. I okay. Know. I had to be prepared. I don't want to be like. Who's you. got this one, Greg? The winner of best publication is none other than. Pinball magazine, magazine number five. There he is. The J 
juices loose. Oh, no stairs needed. I just walked in. Sorry about that. Thank you, everybody. Um, I really can't see anything with these lines here, but I know you're there, so. Um, all I can say is thanks. I love making this publication, and I'm very happy that it's appreciated by so many. So thank you very much. I love that he came like he came up with such tenacity and got here. He's like, oh, okay. So he used the people. red carpet. Yeah. Greg, our next uh, our next presentation, next presenter. We're going to talk about favorite pinball website. Now, why don't we? Why don't we have a pinball website, right? SDTMPinball.com or something like that has it been taken. Dot org. No, net? maybe because you haven't worked on it yet. <laughs> oh, that's so true too. That's so true. <laughs> Laziest man in pinball. <laughs> right, right here. All right, presenting. For favorite pinball website is Charlie and Bug Emery. Wow, is it bright up here. I can see all eight million of you. We would like to thank Zach and the nice one for that lovely introduction. We hope everyone's having a good festival. We're having a great one. We just watched Bowen reach the wizard mode in Alice Cooper. I've had like 10 people tell me Kaneda said good things about us. Yes! <laughs> Let's get to the nominees for the favorite pinball website. Favorite pinball website. Pinside. This week in pinball. Tilt forums. Hey, wait a minute. If This Week in Pinball wins Best Pinball Website, isn't that like saying the Oscar goes to the Academy Awards? <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is... Pinside. <laughs> I really can't see anyone. Right. Are there any pin siders here? Oh, yeah, there's one. I just want to say thanks to all of you. And um, I'm sorry my brother isn't here. He couldn't make it. But I'm sure he's really proud. So uh, thank you. I like our next presenter. I do too. He's Man. a good guy. Tiny little feller. Well, I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, he is. That's kind of rude. Unfortunately, when you, he, this is one guy, whenever you go and give him a hug, it could be a bit inappropriate, right? He's everybody's favorite uh, pinball guy and NBA star. It's Todd McCullough for best theme integration. Sorry, Todd, we didn't get the mic up high enough. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Is this thing cut? <laughs> Th I can't go free bird. Even here. that's taped down. Sorry, Todd. I'm just messing things up here. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna squat this. Okay. So it has been said by a wise man that theme integration is everything. I just said that just now. It wasn't a wise man, it was a wide man. A wide man once said that. So my theme, my theme was Brad Pitt. I'm gonna come out with the hair, the eyes, the jawline, 
but because of bad integration, I've got chia hair, eyes like Rudy from Funhouse, and the jawline of Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> and instead of looking like Brad Pitt, I dressed in derelict. Here are some examples of good theme integration, and the nominees are... Best Theme Integration Deadpool by Stern Pinball Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball And the winner is Pirates of the Caribbean! I'm not sure what he said, but I hope he didn't tell us where that trophy was going. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, this has got what me What we got weird. next? So, oh, oh my goodness. So our next presenter taught me literally how important it was that I, oh am I in the wrong one? <gasps> You're right. The first mistake of the night. You're right there. Oh my goodness, there, I'm we, so sorry. See, we swatched, swapped those see, and those people. Well, this is, this is just like our know. real show. Yeah. <laughs> Couple mistakes. So you're supposed okay. to announce Steve Ritchie right now. Oh, what's up? You ruined my tagline. Go for it. Damn Go for it. it. Come on, Zach. Come on. Our, our next presenter. Now, this, is, this falls flat now, dude. Come on. I haven't our... looked at the camera yet. Hi, guys. Are we streaming live? We, we are, are streaming live. live. We are live. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Sorry. I hope Sorry. We're good. Okay. We, re we this really is recovered that. my favorite that one. one to do, dude. You killed it. Damn it, man. So our our next internet. presenter is one who never lets us forget that we should play better. <laughs> that <laughs> was a good one. For best pinball streamer is the Arnold Schwarzenegger of pinball, Steve Ritchie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all doing tonight? Yeah. Gotta wear glasses. Best Twitch streamer. This is mine. This is the best Twitch streamer right there. <laughs> Old people don't get it. Internet, you know, streaming, I don't know. Anyway, the nominees for favorite pinball Twitch streamer, I nominate that one, are... Favorite Pinball Twitch Streamer Buffalo Pinball Let's do this Double Super Jackpot! What's up, pinball players? I knew Kamazani. I'm sorry. I needed to say, we didn't have to say the air card. <laughs> What's up, pinball Thank players? you. <laughs> All right, so really excited. It's season five of Road Even Pinball. Okay. It wasn't enough to hit 119 walkers, but I had to hit Woodbury three times. Dead flip with Jack Danger. Just pop it right in. He's killing it right now. Because I got lessons from Jack Danger. Jack Danger taught me how to This one is haunted. <laughs> oh my don't, God. No, I don't want to touch it anymore. No, uh-uh. I can see you. Your mouth keeps shining in the sun. Internet, I got a surprise for you. Ready? Shoot! 
Death Star. Straight down the middle. Speed limit! I got it. Throw it. Oh, too late. Ready? Now. Ah, uh, we ended on a tilt. And the winner, hey, he's a good friend of mine. We're talking dead flip. <laughs> Uh, internet, I honestly could not do Dead Flip without you guys watching every single day and uh, just tuning in and supporting me and the adventure that I'm going on. And I can't thank you enough for this awesome, awesome second freaking Twippy in a row, which is out of control. Uh, just, um, you know, if you have Amazon Prime, you know, you know what to do with it. All right, guys, I love you. Have a good night. Flippers and butts indeed. I'm going to call foul on that one because I think kind of what pushed him over the edge was the bulge. Oh, hashtag bulge gate. Maybe next year that's what we'll I think we'll that start. we forgot that. <laughs> well, that's you, Jack. That's you. Okay. And you left your shot glass up here. <laughs> God, what is that? It smelled fruity. Wow. All right. Our next presenter has made an appearance on Stern's new Monsters pinball machine. Yeah. I think that's going to be a big contender next year for best artwork. What do I you think? I see Twippy written all over it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is really, really special. Put your hands together for Butch Patrick. Thank you, very, thank you very much. You know, um, first of all, thank, thank you very. You can tell I don't do stand up here. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much. I'd like to thank Ed and his team for bringing me in, and Pat Priest for bringing us to the uh, Texas Pinball Festival. It's our first one, and uh, it's interesting. A lot of people come up and ask me, "Are you having a good time?" If you can't have a good time at this place, you need to see a doctor, <laughs> because because we're having a wonderful time. Have you checked out the artwork on the new Munster slot, mach uh, slot machine, pinball machine? Well, speaking of artwork, the nominees for the best artwork are... Best Artwork. Deadpool by Stern Pinball. Artwork by Zombie Yeti. Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball. Artwork by Zombie Yeti. Pirates 
of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. Artwork by Jay Zielinski. Okay, uh, nice round of applause for all the nominees, but the winner is Iron Maiden. <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this one before. As a proud member of this team, because I work on them all, um, sadly I'm not as witty or as humorous as Zombie Eddie is, but I will tell you that he is one of the most humble and talented artists I've ever had the pleasure of working with or have ever, ever met. So on behalf of the Iron Maiden team and Stern Pinball and Zombie Eddie, thank you so much for everything, for voting and for all that you guys do to support what we do. Uh, I talked to Jeremy, I, I told Jeremy, I said, you got it. It was the year of the Yeti this year. Yeah. And I said, uh, you know, if I could just tell everybody that there's no, you know, animosity between us artists, we all get along. It's a big family, we're, you know, we love each other. We, we're just happy when other, each other wins. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Oh. What are you doing? Ah! Dude! I hate you! All right. Okay. All right. Mike Vinicor and Chris Franchi, everybody. I guess that's, that's what happens when you don't come to accept your Twippy Award. Okay. I don't know what to I don't think. know. What the hell was that? And he like he's gone too. I need to take an intermission. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Mahaya. Congratulations. my breath. Damn. I know. We we just bought this damn pedestal too. <laughs> you know what? That was the first thing I worried about is our money. <laughs> we have no budget. No. <laughs> It's all we could afford. Okay. So our next presenter is a guy who I have absolutely learned to love. And he... I love that. You've learned to love him. As if you didn't love him before. I've learned to love him. Because I've got the recently... I've recently got to know him. Yeah. And he's kind of been ta taught me the importance Ooh. of mathematics and that I kind of should have probably listened in school yeah, a little exactly. bit better. Please welcome the Multiplier Master, oh, Dwight yeah. Sullivan. Thank you, thank you. Um, thanks. <laughs> I, I can't see who you are, so, but yeah. So favorite pinball YouTube channel. You know, back in my day, we didn't have internets. <laughs> right, we didn't have YouTube channels. But of course, you know, that was back when pinball was hard. <laughs> and, and the nominees are... Favorite pinball YouTube channel. Papa. Live from just outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, this is Papa TV. Hello everyone, my name is John Replico, I'm here with my good friends Fred Cochran on my right, and on my left is Doug Polka, and we are here to talk about pinball. Welcome. Hi, Hi Paul. John. And please. Uh, of our show, so uh, we're going to choose a criminal first. We're going to light major villain modes by shooting various shots. Right. Hey, I'm over here at Pop World Headquarters just outside Pittsburgh, we're going to play some Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here in Southern California to play one of the first games I can remember getting really good at 
Uh, it's Earthshakers. Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here at Pop World Headquarters. It's outside Pittsburgh to play Sinbad, 1978 game from D. Gottlieb and Company. Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here at Pop World Headquarters, just outside Pittsburgh to play World Poker Tour. Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here at Papa Headquarters, just outside Pittsburgh to play World Cup Soccer. This is one of my absolute favorite pinball machines. I Let's kick this shit. Yeah. You hit it off with Straight down dance. the middle, down a the pinball, pinball show. You had a swing with a swing shot. You're rolling out the alley and all day. Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, Don't just call Mark a whore. It's not very nice. Mark Horsberg. I think Hor Horsberg. 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 It might be like hors d'oeuvres, but Horsberg. <laughs> It's just silent. Horsberg. Yeah. Horsberg. It could be. That's where your mom's from, right? Horsberg. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. Ask your mom. She's the mayor. Oh! Oh! So uh, we were starting to think about what our next theme should be. Uh, Joe Balser was really big on wanting to do Oktoberfest. Welcome to Straight Down the Middle of Pinball Show Halloween Special. It is I, Count Zacula, and Wolfman Bone. Hey! Oh, but now we've upped the ante. You see, uh, during. I drew all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was rough. <laughs> Realistic. The ante. You see. During a drill! <laughs> yeah, that was rough. <laughs> Realistic. TNT Amusements. We had a great lunch, and we're going to take all these imbecile people over to the warehouse <laughs> to show them the warehouse. It works out very well. Let's go off. We have separate entrances in case I go bankrupt and close down. I could sell one building. Look, boys, a picture tube. It's a little Ooh, weak. Wee. It works. Neotech, oh, it but okay, it's a little good. dull. Yeah. Gone. I got my coffee and God bless them, they're out of here. I hate visitors. Unless they bring lots of food. Hey Todd, can we come out now? What? <laughs> you spoil the illusion. People thought I really. And the winner is, my friends, straight down the middle. Does sound. Look at it. Wow. Okay. I've got tears in my eyes from the, your whole drool Actually, thing. Sorry. Oh wow. I drooled. I got tears because we won. I was. Scared. Hey, is your mom here in the audience, Mrs. Bone? No, she's not. Uh, you, know, hey, you know where she's from? <laughs> Horsburg. <laughs> okay. I, I literally have to um, thank to my think? wife because I was told to. <laughs> so, so thank you, Chelsea Bone, for allowing me to do pinball, to spend all the time in the world with my best friend. And it is truly moments like these that when you say it's me or pinball, I want to choose pinball. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We got a little emotion there. And you really are crying. No, I'm laughing from you the really Horsberg thing, I promise. I would like to also thank my wife. I, I have no clue how they deal with us 
hours upon hours a week All in of editing, the saliva? And editing. I don't know. So, Nicole, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thanks for supporting me so much, sweetie. Thank you. And I also need to thank you, bud. Thank, thank you. you. I love you, man. I, do too, man. I love you. Yeah. We got two. We got two. Yeah. All right. Shake it off. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. What? A little bit while we get the feel goods going on I'm here. I'm sweating so I fast. seriously want to thank Zach. And I want to hear a round of applause for these fantastic Twippy videos that okay. he has put together. He spent hours upon hours for months. Thank you, man. Building these. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. All right. We're back in it. Maybe. Let's talk. What does everybody love when they play pinball, right? In 2019, you better have some good rules in pinball, right? I hope so. You're not going to be up here if you don't have any good rules. Very true. Go ahead and tell them who's presenting best rules. Oh, that was mine to begin with. I, I, I ad lib there, bud. <laughs> Our next presenter is... Are you really going to start fresh with your whole thing? I like it. Go ahead. <laughs> I've got it all prepared. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Our next presenter for best rules is Marty Robbins. Ooh, the King Sack himself. There he is. Woo! A man that knows kangaroo sacks. <laughs> Thank you. I'd also like to give a big shout out to Jack Danger for dressing me tonight as well. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ooh, ooh. Um, and you can tell I'm from Australia, and I don't know whether you've noticed, but this year in particular, there are a lot of Australians here, so big up to the Aussies here. Uh, and, and pinball is really important to the culture of Australia. And in fact, we've actually had um, some great pinball manufacturers, including Hankin Pinball and now Haggis Pinball. So well done to them. So the nominees for best rules are... Best rules. Deadpool by Stern Pinball. Code by Tanio Kleiss and team. When you make shots, Deadpool is hitting Sabretooth and he's taking his health down. And then you have this opportunity to make a final shot that's going to cash out a bunch of points. Then you make that shot and it's a big... Knockout! Deadpool wins! Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball. Code by Keith Elwin and team. I think it's fun to shoot. The rules are good, the sound's good. The artwork's stunning, so that, that's going to draw new players in. Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. Code by Keith Johnson and team. So, so yeah, the goal is to play the chapters well, no. play the multi-ball well, score big in the wizard zone. And the Twippy for best rules goes to... Iron Maiden. <laughs> I, now I'll be playing the, key, the part of Keith Elwin. All right. Um, I, knew Iron Ma I knew Iron Maiden was going to be something special when I would go play Keith Whitewood, and they didn't even have display effects yet. It was just text on the screen and his rules, and I would walk out of his office before I went home smiling every day, and I couldn't wait to play it again. And there was nothing even to look at in the play field besides blank wood and lights. Um, it's a fantastic game, and Keith really hit it out of the park. And it was a wonderful team that, I, again, I was proud to work on that one with them as well. Um, so thank you guys all very much. Man, I hope they let uh, Mike keep all those awards for all that leg he's work doing he's doing. He's doing a great job. Mike, nice job. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Iron Maiden is doing well. Very well. Pirates is doing well. Very Deadpool well. is doing well. Very well. Nice. It's across the board. No, no runaway this year. Last year we had a bit of a runaway. That's true. This year, no runaway. That's nice. People are stepping their game up. The next one I'm really excited about. I am too. So our next presenters are no rookies to pinball, but they are a little bit of a rookie to marriage. That's true. Please welcome Rachel and Kale yeah. from Marco's That's Specialties. Right, baby. Two of the sexiest people in pinball. Look at that. Thank you 
very much, guys. Uh, this is this is really new to us. Have, have you done anything like this before? No, so no, I haven't. That would make us rookies at this. Oh, How, nicely done. Huh? But uh, I noticed in the email you sent me in preparation for this, they said we could tell a joke, right? Oh, shh. Yeah. So I've, I've prepared my favorite pinball joke. What did one necrophiliac say to the other? <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, my husband. Let's grab a cold one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Twippy 2018. <laughs> Roy, Rookie of the Year nominees are. <laughs> Rookie of the Year. Keith Elwin. Eric Menya. Tim Sexton. He, he told me he was going to do that, but I thought he was joking. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> All right, the rookie of the year goes to Keith Elwin. <laughs> Hey, look who it is. Maybe we should just have Mike sit on the stage. <laughs> All right, Keith, if you're watching this at home on the internet, I think you're gonna have to buy me lunch when I get back home because of all this stuff I have to figure out how to carry back on the plane with me. Um, I, loved, I loved working on that team with Keith and that whole group. Keith hit one out of the park on his first time out, and I think as long as Keith wants to make games, he will make great games for us, and I'm proud to work alongside him and everybody else there. So thank you on behalf of Keith and the Iron Maiden team. Okay. We've only got like a couple left. I'm We're sad. almost finished. I'm kind of sad too. I'm kind of fun tonight. Are you guys having fun? Okay, get another drink. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> no. There we go. There I want to end the show with more yells than we began it with. Yeah, that's right. They're sleeping. That guy back there, look at him. Which He's one? dozing. Oh, I see him. He is dozing. Wake it's up. Joe Fox. That's Joe, Joe Fox. wake up. <laughs> All right, next to present best animations and display. Go look, gone are the days of DMDs, right? Yeah. New pinball machines have big old LCD screens. Not in my house. Oh, <laughs> Lethal Weapon 3 doesn't have an LCD screen. No, does it doesn't. It's, if I could put and it one makes in a little buzz. And guess who sold it to me? I did. With a buzz. That's right. They all have, it's Daddy sold the buzz. Nope, just yours. To present the award for best animations and display is Pinside's very own creator, Robin. All right, I've got a great category here. It's best animations and display. So let's see who the nominees are. Best animations and display. Deadpool by Stern Pinball. Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball.
Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. here the winner is Christoph oh wait that's the wrong car no it's my friend John Paul Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> I can't thank you all. It's, uh, thanks for voting. It's really, really an honor to be here and, and accept this, this vo uh, um, award. Sorry, I'm so nervous at school. Um, second in a row as well. Um, I'm sorry you can't watch all the animations while you're playing, but uh, yeah, doing it. All for the, love. <laughs> for the love of pinball, yeah, all for you. I have like the biggest pinball crush on JP DeWin. I'm not gonna lie. Anytime he puts anything on the display, I love it. Like, just like any other artist, he is masterful. Do you know what I hear all the time? What? JP DeWin for the win! That's right. JP for DeWin. And tonight, he just won. I love it. What are we doing next, Greg? Oh, no, you tell him. <laughs> Go ahead. I what had too presenting? much to drink. Yeah, you have. How many have you slammed back there? Uh, I had a shot with somebody back okay. there and Mary. a couple of other tall bears. So I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. What are we presenting? We're almost done, Greg. We've got a couple more left, bud. So we are presenting the nominees for best, for favorite pinball podcast. Oh, podcast. Okay. Are! God help us. Favorite Pinball Podcast. Head to Head Pinball Podcast. You're listening to the Head to Head Pinball Podcast. Find us on Facebook, email us at headtoheadpinball at gmail.com, or go to our website at headtoheadpinball.com. Welcome everybody to the Head to Head Pinball Podcast. This is our episode 50 and my name's Martin and with me. It's Ryan C and we've got a very special guest, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Kamenkow. How are you, Joe? Doing well. Thanks guys for calling. We're the one and only Roger Sharp. How you going, Roger? Greetings. Uh, thank you for that uh, incredible introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Grenner. It's Charlie Henry. How are you, Charlie? Ladies and gentlemen, George Gomez, Keith Johnson, Mr. Zombie Eddie himself, Jeremy Packer, Scott Denisi, Keith Owen, Josh Krugler, Tanya Kleiss, John Paul DeWin, Dwight Sullivan, Christopher Franchi. I equate it to like if Taco Bell came out with like a new Chalupa. If you didn't like it, would you stand on their front lawn and go, Hey, your Chalupa sucks, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Canada's Pinball Podcast. Isn't it a glorious, glorious week in pinball? Come on, come on, come on. We know we're going to get to see a brand new pinball machine for the first time out in the Please, world. And on, that is what we'll, it's we'll like. Play it again this if we need week. to stop. Stern won't stop. Chicago Gaming will not stop. Jersey Jack won't stop. Um, the, the stakes are, are really high. There's going to be, as I've always said, winners and losers. Winners and losers. And, you know, all we can hope for is that 
you know, we get the best games from each manufacturer and they put their best foot forward. Thank you. Thanks. This week in Pinball Podcast. Ever since I was a- This week in pinball, your source for everything pinball. Hello out there, pinball world. It is me, Zach, the host of This Week in Pinball podcast, rolling into episode 22 with one of my favorite co-hosts and one of my favorite pinball buddies. This man once lost a debate discussing Jersey Jack Pinball's The Hobbit, the co-host of the Eclectic Gamers podcast. Everybody welcome Dennis Creasel. It was nice to be back, Zach, until you lied about that Hobbit debate. Okay. You ready, Greg? Can we not have anything nice? What? This is why we can't have nice things. Come on, this is a celebration. God. All right, tell them who won the podcast. (sighs) The winner is the always entertaining, yet always, there's always a but. Is it me? Did I win? I was, I was rooting for you, buddy. You didn't even vote for me. Go ahead. Who won? Who the won? always controversial Canada's Pinball Podcast. He did it again. Canada. All right, we're going to get that guy, Boone, in the back to come on the show. Who is that? Come up here. You're just making more people watch the show, buddy. I love it. I love it. See, this is what we need more of, right? All right, so here's the deal. I'm going to change the format of my show thanks to this guy. Ready? We're going to talk about tournaments from now on. All right? I'm also going to do, I'm going to do 200 episodes this year, and they're $11,500 each. All right? All right, I just need to thank a few people. I want to thank all the people back in New York City that are watching. Brenda, I love you, and all the people there. You see why the show is amazing. I want to thank all my fans. I know you're here. Right? That guy. He's number one. He's my biggest Patreon supporter. Um... Look, here's the deal. I want to dedicate this award to Nate Shivers. All right, without Nate Shivers of Coast to Coast Pinball, there wouldn't be any pinball podcast. So can we give Nate Shivers a round of applause? All right, I also, I want to thank all of the pinball companies out there. All right, we didn't even cheer all of them. Without them, we wouldn't even be here in the room tonight. We wouldn't be celebrating pinball in 2019, and nobody would have any content to talk about. So can we give a round of applause to all the manufacturers? I, I need to thank someone who's a, my best informant. I, I, I want to thank George Gomez for telling me that Chicago Gaming Company was going to manufacture Alien Pinball and ship it in two weeks. So I want to I want to thank him for that. Um, but here's the deal: this podcast, as you can see, is not the most popular. But I think it reflects what a lot of you feel, but don't always say, is that we're not happy about every single thing that happens in pinball. So I always do the show in defense of getting pinball magic back. All right, all right, all right, everyone. And I want to also say we hope Ryan C is back on the airwaves soon, Ryan. We're, we're thinking about you, buddy, all right? Thank you, everyone. Absolutely. Okay. He's off the stage. Come on. <laughs> love him or hate him, you gotta love the shit that comes out of his mouth. That's right. That's right. <laughs> all right. A couple more. This is a big one. This is not the biggest one, but this is like uh, probably one of the biggest top four or five. It's getting it's big, close. It's a big one. Let's talk some pinball design, right? So category is best play field gameplay and layout. Our next presenter, Greg, exudes design mm. and beauty, right? Please, everybody, welcome Marco Specialties Antoinette.
Hello, everybody. <laughs> well, um, I can remember from a very early age being absolutely memorized with uh, play fields and just the overall design. So here are the nominees for best play field and game design. Best Playfield Gameplay and Layout Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball like Lead designer really Keith really Elwin I really like this design. We haven't done a, a four flipper game in probably 15 years. This game brings that back. I think that's gonna be a unique draw for the player. With the four flippers, the upper two flippers allows you to play more of the pinball machine than just the bottom part. I think when you get stuck at the bottom part for too long, the back looks very distant. And then when you have that flipper up there, it feels like, okay, I'm up there. I have the control at the upper part of the play field. Usually the ramps are some of your easiest shots in the game. Keith put the ramps on the outside of the game and spinners and some loops in the middle of the game and make those the big shots and make ramps the tough shots. What it actually winds up building is a more flowing game because the ball is always near a flipper and that flipper can always affect it. Deadpool by Stern Pinball. Lead designer George Gomez. I wanted simple toys, simple ball interactive stuff. And I hadn't really done a game where I was very focused on the flow of the play field or the shots for a while. And so in Deadpool, I did that. Deadpool's got a lot of interesting ideas put into it. You've got different shots you've never seen. You've got a really interactive toy right in the middle. And you've got this shot on the left flipper, shoots the right side of the play field to feed a side ramp. The ball gets whipped around this wire form up this side ramp and it actually crosses through the play field unguided by anything into the ninja lock. Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. Lead designer Eric Menya. A lot of games that don't do it right. I now know from experience. Okay. I spent over a week with nothing more than this flipper, mm -hmm. this flat rail, and this flat rail. Yeah. Getting this tuned in. Okay. Just those, just those three elements. I was adjusting the positioning of this. I was adjusting the positioning of those, mm -hmm. of that, the strength of this, the pitch of that, where they're gonna, where they line up, where. Now the important part was where this flat rail fed the ball onto this flat rail in order to make yeah, a I continuous loop. Um, you don't want a lot of chatter back there. They do. The yeah, the ball. It does. So that. And the winner is Have you ever been so nervous that you yawn? Or is that just a me thing? I was doing that backstage and it was really weird. And the winner is Iron Maiden. <laughs> Hey, I'm definitely getting my steps in walking back and forth, and I'm going to need a bigger bag. Um, thank you on behalf of Keith and the Iron Maiden team once again. Um, I'm proud to work with all of them, and clearly that, that game made you all smile as much as it made me smile when I was playing it during development with those guys. So thank you. I'll tell you, Zach, if there was an award for the best speeches of the night, it would go to... to Definitely to Mike. Well, by default, alone, yes. Yeah, but he's had to come up with so many. <laughs> Where's he gonna put all those things? You got like a satchel? Oh, you got a satchel, no. Mike? Come on, Mike, tell us. Guess what? What? The time's come. We're out, we're, I, it's, we're out of the categories. Are we've we got, ready to drink we've more? We've got one more left. Is, are we all partying after this? I wanna party with every one of you guys. Hotel bar! Hotel yeah, bar! I agree! Jack Danger Jack says Danger's hotel bar. It. So we're about to present you your 2018 Game of the Year. The most important award of the night. Clap, come on for it. <laughs> this is a big one. This is big, we should draw it out. Hey, how about we do this? At the count of three, I want you guys all, because I know every one of you voted, right? Yes. I want you all to yell your favorite Game of the Year. Ready, one, two, three. Yes. Say a lot. 
<laughs> so, okay, all right, all right. It's a lot of pinball machines, okay. I didn't make out any of that. Here to present Game of the Year is us. All right? Oh. I'm gonna close the show down. Shut this down. How about it? You were top three nominees for Game of the Wait. Year. What? What? Just stop you for a minute. Me. No, I know, I know, I know that. I know that. <sighs> Again, thank you all for attending this. Okay, we can uh, do This is our first live event. Yes. And we thank were you. nervous as hell. We're still nervous. I'm still But we want to thank everybody for showing up, for sticking around, staying here, being a part of this. We greatly you, appreciate it. And you too. It's probably like auto focusing. No, not that right? side, this side. No, I'm talking about the webcam right there, man. Oh. People are still watching. Hi. Don't mind throwing them biddies. Throw them yeah, bits. Biddies, big old biddies. I learned everywhere. that from Jack Danger. Yeah, yeah. biddies. Yeah, okay. remember that time when I said I was bumpers and nuts instead That's, of it's flippers and butts, right? Flippers and butts. Yeah, the doppelganger. <laughs> All right. Head to head. Your nominees for Game of the Year are. Game of the Year! Iron Maiden by Stern Pinball Deadpool by Stern Pinball Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. Wow, okay. I feel, I feel weird if I'm... Yeah. That was like a whole roll reversal there. Yeah. I'm always on the left, you're always on the right. Yeah, you were the likable one for a Game minute. Of the Just for a minute. The... That's, that's so wrong. I'm sorry. Right. It's the end of the night. Game oh. of the year. Is everybody ready for the game of the year? I am. One, two, three. Iron, Iron Maiden! Maiden! Up the Irons! Yeah. I told you we should have just set you up here, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations to all of Stern. Keith Ellen, you owe me lunch of the year for all this hardware I have to bring back to work on Monday. Um, thank you guys for everything once again. Um, I've run out of witty things to say, so I'll just say thank you once more. Um, on behalf of the whole company, thanks. All right, everybody, that's our show. Have fun. Make sure to check out the third annual Twippies Award next year. Let's go have some fun. Let's do it. Woo! Hotel Bar!